Welcome back to the channel. Several viewers have requested an update on my 10 Thrillometer collection, so why don't we discuss 10 millimeters today? If you're a longtime subscriber, you've likely seen most of these 10 millimeters before. Over time, I've uploaded individual reviews for the majority of them. So, in no particular order, let's take a look at those 10 millimeters. Let's start with the Ivor Johnson Eagle XL. This 10 millimeter is a ported long slide or 6 inch hunter length 1911 that comes with fully adjustable sights. I found this 10 millimeter to be a very accurate extended range target pistol. That, of course, qualifies it to double as a hunting handgun. Some states require a handgun to have a barrel length of at least 6 inches to be considered legal for hunting. This Eagle XL certainly meets that criteria. It's packed with custom features, but only modestly priced. For what you get for your dollar, this Ivor Johnson Eagle XL is an excellent value. This 10mm needs very little introduction. The Glock 20 is probably the most recognizable 10mm out there. Over the years, a Glock 20 has come and gone from my collection a couple of times, but I always managed to replace it eventually. Glocks have an unbelievable amount of aftermarket upgrade and customizing parts available, which only adds to their popularity. They're accurate, reliable, and simple to maintain. So what's not to like about that? The SIG SAR P220 Emperor Scorpion is one of SIG's Elite Series handguns. This Emperor Scorpion is an 8 plus 1 round single stack that features night sights and a decocking only feature. This P220 has no manual safety to have to think about should you ever have a need to quickly deploy this 10mm in a home or personal defense situation. Simply utilizing the decocking feature lets you safely lower the hammer onto a loaded round allowing you to carry this handgun ready to go in double action mode. The P220 Elite is certainly no lightweight. It's an all steel handgun that's built like a tank and it can easily handle the hottest 10mm rounds on the market. If you're looking for a durable do it all 10mm, you might want to consider a SIG Emperor Scorpion. Next up we have the Rock Island Armory Ultra FSHC Model 1911A2. The Model 1911A2 is a high capacity double stack variant of the 1911A1. This A2 comes with just about every upgrade you could want on a 1911. This double stack 1911 holds 16 plus 1 rounds. Since we're talking about 10 millimeter rounds, that's pretty impressive firepower for a handgun. Having a fully adjustable rear sight combined with a fiber optic front sight makes sighting this 10 millimeter in really easy. As a potent high capacity home and personal defense handgun, it can more than handle the task. Next up we have the Tanfolio full size polymer frame 10mm. Based on the CZ75 design, this high capacity 14 plus 1 round double stack features excellent fixed sights, a positive manual safety, and includes an accessory rail. People with smaller hands will find the grip geometry on this Tanfolio fits their hands better than some of the other high capacity models on the market. This polymer frame tan folio is probably one of the most budget friendly 10 millimeters currently on the market. It retails for under $500, which makes it an excellent value. Next up we have the Dan Wesson Razorback. 
Everything that goes into one of these Dan Wesson Razorbacks is hand fit and finished inside and out. Every part used is best to breed and carefully selected. To be clear, there are absolutely zero MEM parts utilized in the Razorback's construction. This Razorback is also superbly accurate, making it a favorite with handgun hunters, and it's certainly potent enough to face down a dangerous predator, two or four-legged variety. This Razorback's an absolute pleasure to shoot, and more than capable of performing just about any task you might ask of it. I own several Dan Wesson handguns, and they certainly don't disappoint. Next up, we have the Tanfolio Elite Match. Based on the CZ-75 design, this single action only 10mm is capable of outstanding accuracy. Produced in Tanfolio's custom shop in Italy, this 14 plus 1 round high capacity 10mm is an absolute dream to shoot. Having fully adjustable sights makes it perfect for target work, which also makes it a great choice for handgun hunters. Whether you're into hunting, target shooting, or just interested in stepping up your sport shooting game, this Elite Match is definitely worth considering. This one's also made by Tanfolio. This double action 10mm is very similar to the CZ-97. I've heard a number of people say they wish CZ would come out with a 10mm, and that the CZ-97 would be the perfect platform for that. Well, since CZ hasn't indicated any interest in doing that, why wait? This Tanfolio 14 round double stack 10mm can fill that void rather nicely. It has excellent fixed sight, smooth double action trigger pull, and a crisp single action trigger. It's also very accurate and reliable. The price for this all steel model is only slightly more than Tanfolio's polymer model, but considerably less than this Elite Match. I haven't actually done a review of this particular Tanfolio 10mm yet. If you'd be interested in more information about it, let me know in the comments section below. Next up is the Ruger SR1911. I picked this 10mm up right after they first came out. Since then, I've really put this Ruger through its paces, and I found this 1911 to be accurate, reliable, and a real pleasure to shoot. Having fully adjustable sights makes it a fine choice to use as a hunting or target handgun. As a seriously potent home and personal defense weapon, it's an excellent choice. If you're a single action revolver fan, this Ruger Blackhawk convertible comes chambered in 10mm and 40 Smith & Wesson. Every Ruger revolver I've ever owned has been solidly built, uber reliable, and amazingly accurate. This 10mm Blackhawk is no exception. It's more than capable of handling a steady diet of the hottest 10mm rounds on the market. And since it's a single action revolver, you don't have to mess with those pesky moon clips. Well, there you go, 10 thrillometer fans. That's the update on my 10mm collection. Until next time, practice often, shoot straight, and thanks for stopping by.